Hi there, thanks for coming back to the channel. The title for today's video is how to get approved for affiliate marketing programs. Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. Hi there, uh, before we get into today's video, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, Today's topic, how to get approved for affiliate marketing programs. Uh, one of the areas I've been looking at for a number of years, and, and this has been I've been reminded of this because I've been running a series of webinars, is affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing uh, can seem quite bewildering to the newcomer, but the process is this, you will earn a commission for introducing a new customer to a product or service. So you introduce new customers to a brand, uh, probably the most well-known is Amazon Associates program. So if you introduce new customers to Amazon, they click from your website or your social media uh, pages through to Amazon and make a purchase. And Amazon, it's quite short cookie periods. So it's only 24 hours. Uh, if they do that, you'll get a commission. That's how affiliate marketing works. Uh, it's an important part of the process is being approved by the affiliate marketing program managers. When you start to make your application, they will ask for a number of pieces of information. Uh, the first of those is usually your website. So the reference website, that's where you'll be hosting some of your promotional uh, links, uh, affiliate links, obviously, to, uh, sending people through to the merchant and the merchant will then obviously register new purchases and, and those conversions will will be uh, allocated to your uh, affiliate marketing account and you'll get commissions etc in my case that would be marketingfundamentals.com so here's the website and let me show you uh, an example of how i use and uh, how i embed some of those affiliate marketing links so if we go to into let's go into this uh, uh, this blog post with an embedded video and you'll see underneath the embedded video there are that's an affiliate marketing link so people click through to Samsung and I'll receive a commission if they make a purchase similarly with Grammarly so that's one way of using the uh, affiliate links and then promoting them on your site so they always want to see the site your site your website uh, because they need to evaluate it in terms of levels of traffic and so on so that's the first thing have a website that you can make reference to that's number one then they'll want to see some of your social media uh, followings and assets i'm going to demonstrate that and i'll just run across the line with a few of those so the next one they'll, they'll want to see your social media uh, just before I, I go on to the social media i should also say that you can embed links obviously on the blog post and i'll just show you that with this article but you can also have a resources page it's very important you have a resources page and then you put your uh, affiliate marketing links and usually there's a visual and these visuals i'm not going to click all of them now but they'll click through and they're all affiliate links so if anybody purchase purchases from tubebuddy grammarly amazon business samsung uh, constant contact bluehost shopify uh, that's also an, that's an investment partner for the US uh, Coinbase Tailwind etc if anybody clicks through from this page this resources page on the marketing fundamentals website and then makes a purchase then I will receive a commission for that so that's a to, it's just not not just only on the blog post but also on the resources page now let's look at the socials because they'll also evaluate your socials I'm going to lead we're on YouTube I'm going to lead with YouTube so if I go to my YouTube page you can see I've got nine and a half thousand subscribers so that's good because if I make a dedicated video uh, that uh, talks about the partners services or product and then I'll leave the affiliate link in the description underneath the video that's one way of, of promoting their affiliate link and it's likely to lead to more sales uh, more conversions and conversions more commissions for me the affiliate uh, partner and more sales for the merchant um, so they'll be happy to see that you've got a YouTube channel if you've got one so that's mine 9.5 uh, thousand uh, subscribers but it's not just YouTube they'll also look at your Twitter account so you when you're approaching all of these affiliate partners and you've you've picked the right partners I'm going to talk about picking partners in the middle in a minute and, and how you should do that um, they will look at your also your Twitter account so here's my Twitter profile let's just go to the profile it's here 
uh, so 21,000 followers. Uh, so that means that I can uh, promote the affiliate links and the services and products via my Twitter account. The same can be said if I were to use it, uh, I don't use it so much because it's not relevant for B2B, but Instagram account, there's the Instagram account there. Um, the same can be said for that. Also, LinkedIn is very important. So on LinkedIn, I have over uh, uh, five and a half thousand uh, connections, 5,700 followers. So that's also relevant. It depends on the products and services. And I'm going to mention that in a moment. Uh, so when you're trying to get approved by these uh, affiliate marketing programs, that's what they're going to look at. They're going to look at your website. They're going to look at your YouTube channel. They're going to look at your social following. So your social presence, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, also Facebook. I won't open Facebook now, but they're going to look at all of those and evaluate uh, whether you're uh, an appropriate partner. Uh, you must look at affiliate marketing as a strategic partnership and pick the relevant uh, partners for you don't look at the commissions are earned and say oh well that one you can earn a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars per sale don't evaluate them there just evaluate them in terms of how appropriate or how um, relevant they are to your core audience i run a mar content marketing agency so uh, if i get into affiliate programs that uh, are related to seo related to website hosting related to uh, content creation like Grammarly they're all very relevant for my area of expertise and my area of operation uh, those are that's the best sort of uh, partnership and affiliate program to join don't, don't just join one because it's offering a high commission because you may never achieve that commission because your audience isn't interested in what the uh, merchant is offering there's too much of a, a jump or a gap between your normal subjects that you talk about in terms of your content and your area of expertise and the affiliate partner you know so be strategic and careful in the partners that you uh, sign up for when you do uh, go through that process everything that i've spoken about today in terms of your website your social presence youtube linkedin uh, twitter instagram etc that's what they'll be evaluating and above that if you needed something else to help convince them just say that you're going to have uh, a coordinated uh, approach so you're going to on a regular basis you're going to promote their links and the uh, products and services they offer uh, and, and do that using what i use is a, a social media management tool so i can schedule updates across different platforms uh, and that means I don't have to think, oh, I must promote this uh, affiliate partnership. It's happening on an ongoing basis and I can carry on doing my normal work activities uh, in terms of uh, creating content for clients, etc., and creating content for my own company as well. So that's how you're going to get approved. If, you, if you're thinking, well, I don't have a website, I don't have large uh, social media followings, uh, you can still uh, be successful in your applications as long as you're working towards those. So as long as you have a website, you must have a website, I think, for a lot of these programs. And then you do have a presence and you're active on those on those platforms. Even if you haven't got the number of followers that I've got, if you're active on those platforms, that will count in your favor because they'll look at the, the last time you posted. So I, when I, I review lots of people's social media accounts as part of my work, and sometimes I look at, uh, a person's twitter account and they haven't posted for six months that's not going to get you approved into an affiliate marketing program you need to be active and you need to be um, show that you know how to use uh, all the platforms for business reasons not just for personal reasons but for business reasons and in doing so you're you're more likely to be approved for affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing will help increase the level of, uh, of revenue streams uh that you're you have coming into your business or into your accounts uh I remember many years ago listening to uh, the words of Dr. Dre, who said he had 44 ways of getting paid. Uh, if anybody's listened as far as this, and you know the uh, song that's from, not I can't condone the rest of the words in that song, not at all. It's, it's not really, uh, uh, it's not really um, uh, family friendly. But what I will say is, it was an idea there planted in my mind that you need more than one or two revenue streams. And if 2020 has told us anything, it's told us that what we thought was uh, secure for many people uh, was not secure. 
uh, and so they need to rethink and uh, re-strategize their approach to life and to earning money. Uh, affiliate marketing is a, a good solution in terms of a new way, or new for some people, a new way of, of increasing your levels of income. Hope this video has been useful. The idea was to help you prepare for and be successful in your applications to join affiliate marketing programs. As you saw from my website when I just went through some of the pages there, I've successfully applied for lots of affiliate marketing programs and I've been able to generate uh, affiliate marketing commissions because of my successful applications. So follow uh, the advice I've given uh, and you'll be successful too. I'd like to hear uh, in the comments, uh, first of all, what you thought about the video, how many affiliate marketing programs you, you're considering. Uh, you could name the ones that you're in if you like, or if you want more advice, you could, uh, you could mention that. Uh, but I'd like to uh, start a dialogue there. So thanks for watching. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Uh, if you've liked this video, give me a like. Uh, leave a comment below about affiliate marketing, whether you're interested in new programs or you want some more advice, you find this helpful, etc. Uh, and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, thanks. Speak to you next time. Bye-bye.